Yeah, have you ever seen a gif of like a diva girl going like, uh, what does diva say? Oh, she goes, nerf this. <laughs> nerf this. <laughs> What's diva? <laughs> That's, uh, you know, no, it's the girl from Overwatch where it's this oh, girl. Sorry, I'm she's cosplaying as diva and she's clapping her ass and she goes, nerf this. And then it's just like, and someone somebody, somebody adds in like diarrhea. And it's the funniest. <laughs> In video, because it's like it, it is that that, that's that the would have sound. driven her nuts. She would have been because that, that's <laughs> probably did, more that's nuts. probably got more views than the original actual thing. You know Nerf what I mean? They have. <laughs> and then someone auto tuned it, so it goes. Nerf this. 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 Nerf Disgusting. Look at these little wombs. Might be the butler who's who's got something. He's got some. There's you told me about the butler that your mom and dad had that you called the slutler, right? And you used to like torment him and like. I uh, never had a butler. Tomar used to. He said he used to say. Well, number one, he comes from he comes from wealth. He always says, "I come from money. I can do whatever I want." Yeah. But, I but he said, "I used to have a butler and I used to torture that SOB. I used to." What exactly makes us a pawn? Hmm? What do you mean a pawn? You always refer to us as pawns in your big game, and your big master plan. <laughs> you say, I see movable objects which can be manipulated in my hands. I am writing a book, and, and if you want to check yeah. that out when it's released, I think it'll it'll give you more perspective on why I, why I see you all that way. Every time I let you borrow something, you're like, That's called gasoline. I've yeah. done it again. That's called castle? <laughs> like, I'm always referring to chess? Is that... Yeah, I would assume. I don't know. I, I haven't read the book, apparently. Tovar will always often give me a free Coca-Cola and say, you understand the law of reciprocity, right? This is a classic persuasion technique. You see, I give you something, and now you, in turn, feel indebted to me. So now I want you to help clean up my apartment. And I say, all right, dude, I guess. That, that is a pretty good argument. He's used that on me, my visiting <laughs> family, uh, my friends. He did that on my seven-year-old little cousin. He had he had my little cousin. <laughs> he had him cut oh, his yeah, hedges. Oh yeah, had her wash all the dishes. I actually made her wash them twice because she did such a shitty job the first time. You made you made little Umar do that. You little Umar Umar Hadel. Why would my cousin be called Umar? <laughs> you Umar Hadel. Uh, because he's played the game on your f aunt, dude. He was in the delivery room. Holding her hands for 14 hours while she delivered that child, and he said, yeah. I request but one thing in return for this. They weren't called Yumar until he gave him the coke, and then they changed it. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little character right now, like a little baby, and I feel like this is Tomar looking down at me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who cares? It's a fucking tree. I don't care if it's to survive that. It's also made up. <laughs> Anybody can be there. My wife took a picture of me with a, my <laughs> cock out in the driveway. Dude. Oh, hey, babe. When I was at 7-Eleven, uh, I was waiting in line, and the guy was taking just, just a little tiny bit too long. He wasn't even that bad. The guy behind me was just this big fat idiot. He was like, what the fuck is the holdup? <laughs> what are we waiting for here? <laughs> what, what did the guy, probably, what was he buying? I don't know. Deal like, this? We were all just buying, like, like, monsters and shit. Like, it wasn't taking that long. The guy behind the counter was taking probably 4% too long. And that guy's like, WHAT THE HECK IS GOING ON?! I love big, fat, and patient, and patient people. Fucking, uh, can we tell the one story about... One time we went to a party, and, uh, her brother was there. And, and uh, we were all, uh, watching the TV. Like, like whenever we... Who were we watching? We, we were watching Babies Falling Over compilation on oh. YouTube. And the brother walks in. And he goes, what are you watching? We we're like, baby's falling over, take a seat. And he sat down and he got really fucking mad. And he, was, he was like, give me the controller. Yeah, he's like, give me the controller, I'm sick of this shit. And we were just like, uh, everyone else is having fun, but okay. And we gave him the controller and he put on honest trailers. And then nobody was like, like laughing and everyone just started talking over it. And he got mad, he stood up. <laughs> he looked like this, did he have half of his face burned off? No. It's time to put on this trailer. <laughs> no Lyle. He really hated babies falling over. He really hated babies falling over and he walks out of the room. Uh, so he walks back in and we're all watching a really, really gory horror movie. I don't remember what it was. And there's someone on, on TV getting stabbed in the stomach over and over. And he walks in and he goes, what, what the hell is this? And then Zach turns around and goes, Sonic goes to the real world, dude. <laughs> and then I went, 
<laughs> like that. And he looks at me and he's like, yo, Chris, just so you know. And he, he looked over at a girl. He's like, a girl, I, by the way, he tried to hit on her. He tried hitting on her. He tried actually bringing her into the woods to hit on her. Yeah. He goes, I, I would never hit her, but I, I would lay into you. And I was just like, what? He's like, I, I would never hit her, but I'd lay into you. I'm like, okay. And then he walked away. And then he walked away all <laughs> flustered. It was the weirdest fucking encounter. <laughs> it was so fucking weird. It was just genuinely bizarre. Everybody walked out like, did that just happen? Did he just throw it at you? Everyone I... tried ignoring it because it was so weird. It just it didn't make any sense logically. I, I kept saying, like, did that wait? So <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, I was like, I heard everything just happened, but you're telling me I said something was the real world. And this guy said he would not punch a girl, but he would punch Chris and he left. <laughs> it, it, that, was, he, that was the sequence of events. He though. should have said that to you for making if fun anything, of him. If anything, if anything, yeah. <laughs> it made no fucking sense. He was just mad at me for some reason. <laughs> it was because I, I put on babies falling over. It must have fucking infuriated him. <laughs> he, do you think he was like stewing on that until he like came back into the room? I think he was really angry because the girl kept turning him down over and over. Yeah, he was definitely like blue ball. <laughs> oh, I think we were sitting next to this girl. That like that kind of way, but you were just sitting next oh to Oh my him. god. Yeah. I think that was it. Yeah. What a fucking idiot. Julian, what would you do if Robbie Rotten ducks to you? <laughs> <laughs> How does he do it? Like, he's looking at your front. He's looking at the front. Like, 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 look at this address that I just found. <laughs> I would invite him in. When I say go, get ready to dox. <laughs> Not like that. Uh, <laughs> Where would he post it? Uh, on his own, in he has his own internet. He has his own image board. <laughs> Robbie Chan. Lazy Chan. <laughs> Give me the other two Robbie Rottens, you use it. <laughs> they go, you know how to dox? They go, eh, nah. <laughs> Dox him, not me! <laughs> oh, Let's try something else. <laughs> dox him, not me! That was genius! Job, ding dong. <laughs> ding dong, you're a genius sometimes. <laughs> when you bite into a hot dog, do you think you're biting someone's penis off? <laughs> no. Okay. A penis would be a lot tougher. It'd be like really stringy. I mean, that's what the raid video was. Get, it was a cucumber. Get Chris to bite into it. He might just bite Have you ever right seen that video? The what video? It's a video where he called... says, where he says, poke out your boyfriend's eyes. It's called Rapist Beware. <laughs> you're uh, in for a scare. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> what? I spat it. I spat it all over me. Oh my god. God, what is that? You got in my eye. It's just water. Sorry, spat all over Ding Dang. Good night, Jaxie. Forever. Good night, sweetheart. This is what happens when you open up my spaghetti. <laughs> When I open, she opens my spaghetti. When you take me bite at my spaghetti, I do this to you. Spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. My spaghetti. Tomer walks into the kitchen. Hey, Jaxie, I brought you home some food. Food? <laughs> that sounded like a legitimate chimpanzee. Please, I was just eating shit, please! Is that so against the law? <laughs> That freaking stunk, dude, not gonna lie. Man, that was fucking scary, bro. <laughs> I remember that. You gotta try it out the Chinese gun. What are you saying, Zach? <laughs> I think yeah, I know what you're trying to say, is that? One week by, bare, by the bare naked ladies. Yeah, I have an idea. Let's go find you. Yeah. They, they might be bare naked. By their ladies, for sure, I'll tell you that much, and that's a fact. Let me out of this crazy thing. Let me out of here, I'm losing my mind! <laughs> <laughs> I hate Mom, that they jump me around. Out of my room. I'm gonna go crazy! <laughs> yeah, I'm bipolar and I have schizophrenia and I have OCD and I have ADD and I have ADHD. That's just and every I'm fucking and I've got bio Asperger's. on Twitter. <laughs> I'm gonna be there because for like 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he just started naming shit, he's like, yeah, I got a bullet wound, I got a scratch on my forehead, he just starts naming other shit too. There, there <laughs> is people like that who... I got a, I got a lamp, I got a, I got a wound. <laughs> got a lamp. I got a lamp, I got a bullet wound, I got a scratch, I got a, I got a bum eye, I got, I got 80-40 vision, that's what I... 80-40. <laughs> Uh, 
Tomar, yeah. Tomar, Tomar. Tomar, yes. Tomar, Tomar. If yes. I was strong, if I was super strong and I had a big vein in my arm, would you still talk to me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, wait, wait, but what if, what if the vein was like a... Looked like a big like worm was in his arm. It looked you, like a, a tangled spaghetti string. But, but you but you knew but you knew that it wasn't. Well, what do I know? What it is? No, you you didn't knew what it, it was. It wiggles around when I'm talking. <laughs>